Hey guys, today I am so excited to talk to you about Transformers 1. This movie comes to theaters on September 20th and you do not want to miss it. If you are a big Transformers fan, or even if you aren't, I think you're really going to enjoy this movie. It's a great movie for families. It's a great movie for fans. It's done so well. So this essentially tells the story of Optimus Prime and Megatron and like where all their beef comes from, right? Because they totally hate each other. They're always butting heads and you're like, what happened here? What is this story? And so it gets to explore that where that came from, where they're just just resentment for each other, like this this hatred, this pure hatred. Uh, and it stems from maybe an unexpected place, but certainly a relatable place, a best friend breakup. These two are best friends. They don't go by the names um, Optimus Prime and Megatron just yet, uh, but you get to see them as they form their relationship, as they meet, as they're, they're best buds, they're having a good time together. They're a whole lot of fun. Uh, and they are voiced by um, Orion Pax, which is Optimus Prime, essentially, <laughs> is uh, Chris Hemsworth. And then Brian Tyree Henry plays his counterpart there. And they are just so good at this. They have great chemistry. Um, obviously, this is animated, beautifully animated, absolutely stunning. The score is incredible as well, guys. And there's so many great action sequences. There's so many great Easter eggs and references uh, to Transformers stuff. But if you don't know Transformers lore at all, like, you're fine. You're still going to understand it, and you're going to have a really, really, really good time. This actually, I think, will get a lot of people more interested in the Transformers franchise. Um, but we'll see. I just, I love because you slowly see these two characters become who we know them to be because right now they aren't, you know, they're best friends and you're kind of like, how did they end up hating each other? And you get there and you totally get it by the way. It makes perfect sense, but their voices even evolve as the movie goes on. You start to hear them more and more like, like Brian Tyree Henry, you start to hear that like descent into like evil, although he doesn't really think he's evil, right? He's justified. Villains are never the villain of their own story. They're usually the heroes of their own story. And that is really what you get here. And honestly, you can kind of relate to him. You're like, I get where you're coming from. Like, maybe this isn't the right way to handle it, but you understand it. Uh, and I love when you can have a villain in a gray area and when you actually kind of feel for them. And Brian's performance really, really, really helps that. Um, and Chris Hemsworth, of course, it's Chris Hemsworth. Like, he's freaking Thor. So, of course, he's lovable and a hero. Uh, and you just inherently trust him right away. That's just kind of what happens in this movie. Um, but, and then, of course... Listen, we also have Bumblebee, who's not Bumblebee, but he's Bumblebee. And that is Keegan-Michael Key. He's so funny. I feel like his all of his lines must have been improv in this thing. He's hilarious. The things that come out of his mouth, you're just like, yep, I could totally picture uh, Keegan-Michael Key just chilling in the booth, rambling off all these random things, and then they stick them into the script. He's hilarious. He's so funny, and he perfectly rounds out this friend group. Uh, he definitely tries to insert himself as the third wheel constantly into the friendship. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's so interesting to just really dive into this past and I loved it. I thought it was beautiful on the screen. I love the action sequences. I love the heartfelt moments. Scarlett Johansson is also in here and she's fantastic. Um, I just absolutely really adored this. And I think that people who love Transformers are going to love it. Cause there's a lot of great Easter eggs and a lot of references in there. But if you don't know Transformers, like I said, I think this is a great introduction uh, and I think you don't need to know other stuff to understand it. This really is like an origin-esque story, so you are fine. Trust me. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's an absolute blast. Josh Cooley did a fantastic job as director. Um, I mean, no surprise there. You look at the guy's resume, you can figure that out. Uh, it's great. It's great for families, great for fans. I, I think it deserves to be seen on the biggest screen possible, so go see it when it hits theaters on September 20th. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see it again. Um, I was unable to bring my kids to the press screening, unfortunately, and I'm going to take them to the theater to see it because I know that we're all going to have a, uh, so much fun as a family watching this movie. So yeah, you guys let me know if you are excited for Transformers 1 in the comments or if by the time you got to this review, you have already seen it. Let me know what you thought. Did you love it as much as I did? Did you think it was hilarious? Who's your favorite character? Uh, how do you feel about Megatron now? Do you kind of like him? Do you kind of understand where he's coming from? I love a great area villain guys i really do all right be sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one follow me over on instagram twitter tiktok and you guys can check me out at mamasgeeky.com thanks i'll see you next time